welcome to 9design 3D. Maybe we can say only 9design because today we will make a postcard minimalist design on Photoshop. Let's go to the tutorial. When you open your Photoshop file, it will look like that. We will choose create new. You can select a type what you want, web, mobile, photo or print. Under the art and illustration postcard in here, you can change it from inches to the pixel and change your orientation like that with the resolution 300 an RGB color and create our space is here from the unsplash.com you can find most of image for using your project don't forget to check this license with the free I will download this from the Philip Cominix door image file open it will become here Drag and drop to the other window in it and place. With the Ctrl T you can transform. For the zoom out, left Ctrl and numpad minus you can zoom out. You can select your edges and scale it. With again left Ctrl and plus on numpad you can zoom in on it. Set your image how you want. For the background, we will add new layer and choose your bucket tool. With the picker, you can get a color from here and paint it. Move down for layer 2. It will look whole the image in our workspace. We will add a rectangle for this. From the right property panel, you can close your stroke for the rectangle color, which you want, you can select it. With the picker, you can get some color from your image and you can set it how you want. If you want, you can make a bit warm color for this because we will add some text in here. After you set your color, there is two types of making different things. If you want, you can duplicate your layer or add some stroke. I will duplicate my layer. And after that, Ctrl T for scale. With the pressing Alt, we will scale your size from the center. You can change your color for see this clearly. I will make it a bit tiny. So with the, after the Ctrl T, with the holding Alt, I will scale it again. You can add some drop shadow from the effects. You can set your angle and color, distance, spread or size value. Which type shadow you want, you can set it from here. And press OK. It will be good like that. If you don't like, you can change seconds. With the minimalist color palette, you can search on Google and which part or which type you want, you can download. I found this website, minimalist color palettes for your home. They are giving hex code for the colors. I will choose rose garden color palette. We will use it. For the rectangle, get your hex code from the website and copy. Ctrl V for past. You can set your opacity or change your color a bit with the picker. Which type you want, you can set it. If you want, you can add second rectangle in here and make a bit dark. Add drop shadow with the same species and press OK. We will add a text for us. I will write a minimalist line. You can set your text box to match your rectangle. Change your text size and place. Select text again and drag and drop 
for make a box, I will use my own text from here. Ctrl A to select all and change your text size. With the Ctrl T, you can set it. For the choosing again, For the second text of it, I will make it bold. You can choose and select bold. It will be effect only this. I want to change my rectangles for making it a bit different. With the Ctrl T and holding Shift, you can scale it and change your color. For the second rectangle, I will make same thing after Ctrl T and press Shift and scale it. I want to add some logo. For example, we have a company and make it for this. I download Lotus Flower and save. I will drag and drop to my space and scale it. I will move this PNG file top of it. Now you can place where you want. You can add some texture or company or maybe you can make it podcast postcard how you want. Set your text like that. Save as your PSD file. I will layer and flatten image. You can scale your postcard mini image. And with the Ctrl T, you can scale or rotate it. For the layer 1 with the bucket tool, you can make it white. Add your, if you want, you can add your image, drop shadow. For the a bit look like a mock up. Set your spread and press OK. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will make new tutorials about the Photoshop and I will turn back again to 3D. See you later in new projects.